Oh yeah, you all right everyone? Nice to see you back. Now in today's video, what we're going to do is like a um, tutorial. It's not really a tutorial, actually. Uh, like a flower. I'm going to do a flower arrangement with dried flowers, um, artificial flowers. And I'm going to be using my big tall vase, which I showed you um, when I did a DIY on it. So we'll go over that as well. Um, but what I just want to mention is as well, May, I want to make a point, I am not a professional florist. So if there's any florists out there who are watching me thinking, what the hell is she doing? I'm just doing what I like and this is the way I do it. There's no right or wrong way to set, you know, to do a flower arrangement. So, you know, that's it. I'm just basic. I like the flowers I like. I get them for the range, but I'm gonna, I'll talk you through that as we go along. So, grab yourself a glass of wine because it's a nice sunny evening. Um, the sun has just come out. It's been cloudy all day. It's now, what's the time now? I don't know, half, six, seven, something like that. And, you know, have a well-deserved Thursday night drink. So grab yourself, a, 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 I've got rosé. Grab yourself one and let's get the show on the road. Cheers. So I've got a selection of flowers. Um, some are from the right, uh, in fact, they're all from the range, apart from these ones, which I've got from the pound shop. Do you remember when I showed you? Um, and they were like, like, obviously a pound of stem. They was a single, they're a single stem. Um, and for anyone who hasn't seen that other video, check it out. It, I just hit, uh, but I'll quickly briefly tell you about that. Um, it says on here that it's an English rose, but to be honest with you, this is more like a peony. This is a peony, this is supposed to be, supposed to be a peony, and as you can see, they're very similar. Now, also, I'm not a gardener, I really don't know much about plants or flowers whatsoever. I just wing it, really. Um, but this is definitely a peony, I know that because I used to have a, a beautiful peony bush. Um, so, yeah. So, they're at the pound shop, these are at the range. I've also got some of these, I've got one of these. This one, this was also at the pound shop. Now I bought these at Christmas and they had some gray ones and they had all glitter all over them. So at the, for the Christmas period, they were, they were lovely. And I made some really nice arrangements. Now if you can get them, they're well worth it as well. I think they're, that's a nice big um, flower there. I don't know what type of flower it is. Um, and someone might comment me and tell me, but it's a bit like a hydrangea, but, but it's not. So that's really nice, it's like an ivory color. I've also got these. Um, now they also came on. They ca these actually came on a stem. You know, one of those when they're all jointed together on a plastic stem. And I wanted them separate, so in order to do that, I had to cut them apart to get them off the stem. Then the stems then wasn't long enough, so I've had to kind of make a stem myself from some old. Um, old pieces of stems from other flowers which I've cut up in the past and I always keep bits and pieces. So I literally got the old bit of stem, the bit of wire, got some floral wire, put it together and as you can see I've literally just done, good, uh, put the floral around it and kept it together. You could probably glue it as well but for just for this purpose for the minute and you're not going to see it anyway, I literally did that. What I should have done as well um, it's got some floral tape and taped it around that as well so you can't see it so I might do that as well but just for the moment we'll just do it like that so as I said I've got a couple of them I've got a couple of these now I found these in the pound shop as well believe it or not um, I think the trouble with the pound shop is it's a hit and miss sometimes you go in there and see some nice bits and sometimes you don't so if you go in there and see bits like this grab them um, they was also obviously a, a pound of stem, not, they didn't come together in a bunch. But I actually think they're, they're really worth that money, really worth it. So I'm going to be using them. I've also got some, these are, the rest of this is more, uh, is all from the range. So I've got lots of bits and pieces, so lots of greenery. These are a little bit, some of it's a little bit plasticky, like that looks a bit plasticky. But for fillers and pa packing it all around, um, you know, it's fine. Um, I've got some little roses, uh, which I've cut the stems off, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with those. And then I've got uh, slightly longer ones. Um, so I've got all different lengths. I've got some other greenery bits. So I've got some 
Now I've actually put these together myself. So with like this particular one, it all it was was this little bit on the top here. So you had this little plastic bit and all my little roses, which I uh, showed you also in the last video, and, I, and it had all leaves in it. So I collect all the leaves, like I told you, and they've got like little holes in them. If I hold that like that, you can see. But they've got little tiny holes in them. And all you do, obviously, is just slide it in. And that's all I've done with that. And the same with this little bit, just slid it in. So it makes that, you know, you can bunch it all out. I've also got some of this. These are from the uh, from the range as well. That's those little, like eucalyptus. Um, and you can make them, push them up together so the leaves uh, are spread out during there. You just push them up if you want to make them up the top like that. Or you can have them, or you can have them spread down. So, um, yeah, what else have I got here? I think that's about it, really. So I've got quite a good selection. If I take the camera down, you can see. So I've got quite a nice, good selection here. And as I say, I've already started to put the um, Oasis, uh, the dry Oasis floral foam into the um, vase here. And um, I'm going to try and, and, and kind of start getting it all together. So um, I'm just going to grab my pliers, which I thought were next to me and now they're not, and then we'll carry on. Okay, so I've got my trusty pliers. These actually are pliers and I prefer to use these to um, break up like the stems and things like that because they're nice and strong. Um, so I've got these ready. I've got these little, um, you know, like a Stanley knife. These just come at the pound shop. Um, I think you get like three or four of them. And obviously be careful of the blade. They're very, very flimsy. I mean, they're not the greatest of things, but they serve their purpose and they work for me perfectly all right. Um, so I have those in case I need them. Um, got some scissors in case I need them and anything I need, I've got to hand. And of course, the most important thing is my wine. She says, and I'm going to move this over here because I'm so clumsy, I'll probably knock it over. So what I'm going to start off doing is the back. So I'm going to start with the back because um, I want it to be nice and full on the backdrop side of it. And the idea is I want to keep, kind of stage it so it goes like a, a, at a level, so one higher than the other one. Now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to bore you and do this whole thing because it will take me absolutely ages. So I'm going to start now building my way around it. Then I'm going to pause, then I'm going to, because I don't know how you edit it. You know when you fast forward it so it's not so boring? I'm not sure how I'll do that. So I think my best bet is just to do a bit, stop it, do some more, show you, did it. And I'm going to go along like that. So I'm, as I said, I'm starting from my back and I'm going to work my way forward. Then I'm going to fill all the sides in. So the next one I want to add in is the large, this one here. Now, I want to kind of put it... <sighs> bit hard to explain but I'm probably going to go with it something on this side because on this side I'm going to have the wisteria which is going to be hanging over the side so I'm going to kind of have this in the middle somewhere something like that and then I'm going to start with the other ones and start the peonies the white ones here now with these I probably won't have to cut them down actually. I'll poke them in first to see how long they are. Mm, yeah, I think I will. So literally, get my pliers. I'm gonna do a little bit of time and they come straight off. Take the little label off. And then I'm gonna start playing around with it. Okay. And then I'll start using a different colour and then so on and so on and so on. So it will start kind of, it will start kind of bushing out. So I'm going to do a bit more and then I'm going to come back to you. So as you can see everyone, it's now starting to take a bit of a shape. All right, so I've come around this side there. So what I've done, as you can see here, I'm trying to, I want the back with height because it's a tall vase. So it's no point having a tall vase with loads of little flowers in it. They've got to be nice, big and bold. So I want um, some nice height at the back 
And then as I'm cascading down one side, but I'm not cascading on the other side. So if I turn that round, you can see the cascade in there. And then when I come back round this way, I've got yet to fill this bit here. But you can see it's kind of taking shape. And then these little um, ones I told you about, which are from the range. Now they come, let me see if I've got a stem I can show you. Wait a minute. Um, in my little trusty drawer down here, sorry. So they come on long stems like this, okay? Now they come on a bunch, so you have like the whole thing and they've got like, I don't know, how many, however many on there, three or four uh, sprigs on one stem. And I literally just detach them all, um, deconstruct it and make, make my own little kind of arrangements with them. And what I do they is, as I said before, they all bunch up so you can push them all up and you can make like a little floral flower display. And I literally get little beads or whatever I've got to hand, as you can see, and um, just stick them in the middle. So they look really pretty. And I literally, to, to, to make them like as a filler and give it a little bit more um, glam. We like big glam, don't we? So I literally just dot it around. So this side is now coming along. And then I'm going to continue with this side. So I'll leave the camera running for a little bit. And I'm just seeing if I've got any more. I've got a whole drawer full of bits and pieces down here of little floral stems and that. So I'm just going to start back around this side. Um, so I'm probably going to go silent for a minute while I'm doing this. I've got a bit of music in the background. So I'm going to continue round, I might put some of these in actually, these are quite pretty as well, these roses, these are like a blush as well, these come from the range as well. Um, I've got a bit of greenery, kind of the bridge in the middle there, they're what I call my, my fillers. Some of the fillers I've got, uh, they are a bit plasticky. However, when you start putting them amongst your other colours, they actually don't look that bad. And they and they give it a, um, a feel of fullness, if you know what I mean. Because what you don't want is it to look sparse and gappy. You, I like things which are nice and full. Um, so we're kind of getting there. We're kind of getting there. We'll do a little bit more. And put a couple more of these little stems in as well. Push them up the top. Now I haven't um, put the little bead in this one, this, but we'll, we'll just leave it like this for now, just to, so we can get an idea. And I'm going to start filling some down here. She says to bridge in the gap, and I'm going to put some more greenery in. I'm going to put a bit around this side. Sorry. Come back this side. I've got a bit here. And then when I'm kind of getting where I want it, I can take a step back and start having a little look like, like here. I need to put something here because I don't want to see these stems. Um I don't know though. Let's see. So we're gonna go around this side and then I'm gonna just finish up this little bit round here. Then we'll have a look at it and see what we think then. All right? Mm. So, um, yeah, I'm actually quite pleased with the way that's turned out. And can you see these little strands? I've literally just draped them over just to give it that little bit of pop of shimmer. Um, and then I've just put it on. Um, it's not very good, but I made this ages and ages ago. It's like a, uh, this was just a mirror and I literally put it on some foam board and put some bling wrap around it. And all I've done it for was just to, just to have it as a little um, stand really, like a little mirror tray. Um, so let me know what you think. I'm pleased with it. Um, considering I'm not even a, you know, I'm not a florist, I think it's come out quite well. Um, so if I come around this side, now the back, uh, like I said to you, when we come around the back here, you see 
I haven't filled it in because I don't need to because obviously I'm just looking at the front. But I just wanted to show you the back, looking at it that way. And obviously if we was doing a 360, you know, dining room where you've got a lot of space. My dining room's not very big, it's only little. Uh, so this is our end result, everyone. Um, I'm really pleased with it. I'm pleased how it's come out. Um, let me know, let put your comments below and um, let, let me know what you think. If you've got any more um, tips or tricks what you think might help or what I can put into it or introduce into it. Um, yeah, let me know, all right? And um, on that note, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.